Good evening. Police are questioning a man and plan to charge another after two cars, allegedly drag racing, crashed into a front yard in Safety Bay. The crash happened next door to where a great-grandfather was killed by a car that smashed through his house. The end of a high-speed drag race down a residential street. Police say about 11pm last night, both drivers veered off Georgetown Drive and smashed their cars into the front yard of this home. It makes me furious to know that people would do it here. Police say the 23-year-old driver of this car had been drinking. The driver of this upside-down Commodore fled seconds after the crash. Luckily, the car stopped short of going through the house. The woman who lives there was unhurt. Witnesses have told police the two cars were drag racing. They started at the end of the street, almost a kilometre away, picking up speed. And by the time they realised that this island was here, it was too late. They both stopped out the front here and lined, lined up and took off. Nicole Rigby lives down the street. She says her six-year-old daughter was traumatised. She just thought someone had been killed. Locals say hooning is a regular problem on the street. Two years ago at the house just next door, another crash with fatal consequences. Just now when I came up I saw this and thought, oh my God, it's happened again. Ben Dickmer was killed when this black Commodore ploughed through his front bedroom. I was just hoping it wasn't Colby or any of my family that got hurt as well. 19-year-old Ashley Gregory now can't face getting her driver's licence since her good friend and neighbour was killed. At least the lady got out safe and no one got um, seriously hurt like last time. Locals are now calling for speed bumps to be installed along the street. Kelly Williams, Nine News.